problem is I gotta wrap it over and take the chain. Hey, hey, happy hump day. It is Wednesday, July 27th, I think, and I'm interrupting the regularly scheduled sailing school episodes right now to bring you a live, well, not live, but an in-the-moment update. Now, I don't think in the history of our video lives that we've ever done a same day video, or even the next day, potentially, because usually we spend all this time filming and editing and kind of trying to capture and make something entertaining to watch, but we get a lot of questions. Why don't you post more often? So I thought I would try and give you a same day update and also kind of explain and show why we don't post more often. Here you go. Thank you. Yes. Uh, also, can you please hand me, there's a, I think, is there a tool, are both tools right here? Both tools are right there, which one okay, cool. uh, I'll kick this one down here. And I'll leave that one up there. My task today, add a flag halyard. Uh, Nikki's cleaning the lines for her new halyard. And I don't know, there's about a million things to do today. But the first thing I wanted to say is thank you for all of you on the last video who noticed that this thing right here wasn't spinning when the chain was coming out. And come to find out, it's completely seized. So that's project number one for today, is fixing this issue. And thank you for telling us about it. For noticing it. Oh, for noticing it, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. If it wasn't for those comments, I would have never known. Nope. Okay. We're here at the Harbor Town Marina trying to finish up all of our boat projects. And there are a lot of boat projects. The guys from Just Cats are working on the big stuff, like finishing up the solar install. Um, doing any fiberglass or work that needed to be done and that kind of jazz. And then we are working on, well, anything else that we can do ourselves or that we feel comfortable doing ourselves. And we're doing it here because, well, we have experts around who can help us uh, fix anything that we might screw up or advise us along the way, which is really nice. So it's loud and there's a lot going on. And all the boat projects are horribly overwhelming, which is part of why I wanted to give you this update today because it's insane. I mean, there's just a million and one projects going on. And I've read it on like every cruiser blog and every cruiser I've ever talked to has said, outfitting your boat and getting it ready is the most stressful, the hardest part, like it's, it's crazy, and I can now, I can vouch for that. Very fancy uh, working raft you guys have there. Oh, yeah, only the best for the wind. Yeah. Only the best. Especially that paddle, high tech paddle. It's made out of special wood. That is Jason paddling over our anchor chain to have Kent inspect it and see if he thinks we're okay or if we need to replace any of those links or the chain altogether. Hopefully it's good. All right, so part of the reason I wanted to give you this update today was to show you what it's like being in service, uh, which is where we are and working on the boat, but also because I wanted to address a couple of questions we've been getting um, quite a bit from our last few videos. One comment we got over and over and over, wow, sailing looks really hard or RVing looks a lot easier. I think I'll stick to my RV or I bet you're wishing you had your RV back or you guys are in over your heads, whatever. But there was a lot of like, it's not, doesn't look easy comments. And I thought, well, of course it's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And you don't look at a mountain and say, I'm gonna climb to the top of that mountain because it looks easy. Well, of course not. You do it because it's a challenge. It's exciting. It's different. It, it doesn't look easy. And that's what makes it exciting. And, and sailing, no, I wouldn't call it easy. It's also not that hard and it's not unpleasant. It's the opposite. It's exciting. It's thrilling. It's adventurous. It's also 
relaxing at times. But uh, yeah, so no, it's not easy, but that's not why we're doing it. Um, and I don't think that's why anybody does anything adventurous, not because it's easy, but because it's exciting or because it's challenging. So don't go for easy. Choose something that's maybe outside your comfort zone. You'll do good. Okay, so I brought us here to the end of the marina because I thought it would be a little quieter, sort of, and maybe a little more peaceful for our somewhat Q&A, not really Q&A, fear. Aren't you afraid? Are you afraid of sharks? Are you afraid of pirates? Are you afraid of people? Are you afraid of drowning, of dying? Well, I don't know that anybody lives life without any fears or any insecurities, but I think it's how you approach those fears. You either let them paralyze you and keep you inside your house or in your, in your bubble so that you always feel safe even though there's no real such thing. Um, so of course we have fears, but the point is, is to face them or just to absorb them and work through them and not let it hold us back, but to live life to the fullest as much as possible without going, oh, but what if? Of course we have fear, of course we have insecurities. Right now, we must have a million insecurities going on with, are we repairing this right? Are we making the right decision? Should we buy this or do we hold off on that? And even our skills, are we talented enough to get ourselves down to the, the keys, uh, you know, did we absorb enough? Should we read our books more? Of course, there are a lot of insecurities. We will be pushing off of this dock in a few days, well, next week, and do some coastal cruising. And eventually we're gonna sail over to the Bahamas and then probably somewhere even further away after that and then further and then further, so yeah. We're doing this regardless of experience or how many people are afraid for us or even if we're afraid. Of course, you're, you're going to be afraid. It's something new. It's something different. There's a lot of unknowns, but we're going for it. One of my biggest arguments for fear is always the scariest and most dangerous thing you can do is get behind the wheel of a car and drive. It's one of the probably the most unsafe places you can possibly be in this world is on a highway. All right, I think that's enough of me blabbing on for today. Plus I need to get back to work. Can't leave them over there to their own devices for too long. Supervision is important. I hope you enjoyed this random update. And if you didn't, well, just don't say anything because there's enough negativity in this world. We don't need any in the comment box down below. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging in there with us. And yeah, we'll see you again in a couple of days.